But blockchain is also open source. What does that mean? That means anybody in the world, any coder, any software engineer in the world can jump onto the network and create a software update that gets uploaded onto the blockchain. Now a software update could be any sort of subtle change to the protocol, but the acceptance of a software update has to be agreed upon by more than 51% of the network. Now remember, nobody knows anybody on the network. There's no real reason to trust anybody on the network. So the only way to get a community of anonymous individuals who have no real reason to trust you to accept your software update is if your software update actually economically and financially benefits the actual community. So the software coders and the code that they create has to be so good that it's enough to convince a group of strangers, a network of strangers to take it on. That means there has to be some kind of financial benefit for everybody on the network, which means that blockchain is a meritocracy. It's based on merit. That's the only way new software updates will be accepted is if there's merit behind them, if they're of quality. If the software update is to just benefit this little cohort, the rest of the individuals on the network are not gonna accept it. Because why would they wanna give a disproportionate advantage to any small little group? So this is how the trust is built without any one entity having full control of the blockchain, of the system. Every part of the blockchain, every actor, does not have a disproportionate advantage over any other entity on the network. Because if it did, what would happen to the blockchain? It would collapse. 